Good morning, good morning, Vlogmas Day 23, and we are a frozen tundra here. It's a sheet of ice everywhere. Let me see if I can... You probably can't see this, but my sidewalk and driveway right here are ice with snow on top a little bit, like fresh snow. So, there's no traffic. One car has gone by, and it was an ambulance. So, um, it's cold, and it's uh, about 8 in the morning-ish here, and it's just dead quiet. Quiet. The only thing I have heard are really scary, creaking, heavy branches that sound like they're stressing out and want to come down. So, I won't be going out there. I think that it's a danger. You could probably get hit by a branch, a frozen one, a big one. They're stressed out by the heavy heavy ice on them. I think the power is out um, around town and I'm going to go um, look at my Facebook and my emails and my texts and see who's without power here. We have a generator so I won't know. Well yes I will. It didn't go out. That clock over there is not blinking. There's a digital clock and it'll blink because when the power goes out, it stays out about 10 seconds and then it'll pop back on when the generator takes over. So that's a good thing because it is cold out there. Like teens. <laughs> good morning. I have had my coffee as a matter of fact. This is my third cup and it's almost gone. I think I better switch over to water here pretty soon before I vibrate on out of here. <laughs> anyway, um, I am going to make three pies today, just cream pies. I'm kind of over it, the baking and the sugar. I'm sorry. I'm, you know, <laughs> I'm already pretty fluffy and um, nobody needs this much sugar. Look at this. <laughs> That's what's left of the Yule log. That's what's left of the hot peppermint cocoa bars. And here's cookies that I made last night. Oh my goodness. But you know what? This is for Christmas Day dessert, so that's cool. Now I'm going to start making after this. I'm going to start making the savory things. I'm thinking about making some crab dip, like for crackers, you know, with cream cheese and crab meat and green onions and things like that. Um, I'm not sure what kind of pies I'm going to get going, but um, I've already got a giant Costco cheesecake that is going over um, for Christmas Eve tomorrow night, or tomorrow afternoon, uh, so I don't know, maybe I'm going to have to think, of, I'm going to see what i got in my pantry is what I'm going to do. I uh, was going to do a Vlogmas collab today but I don't have it in me for doing that either it has crunch time here on December 23rd let me show you the front again so still no traffic out here I saw one ambulance go by and that was it and it's not that it's a lot of snow it's not it's a dusting of snow but it is solid bad ice there's um, accidents everywhere. I don't know why we haven't lost some big branches out here, because usually if we have a bad storm, some come down. But maybe I'll do a walkabout. No, I'm not going out there. Anyway, <laughs> I didn't know what to do with this hat. So I had tried this Sprite. It's that kind of Sprite. It's kind of icky. I prefer just to put um, bubble water, you know, like... Um, carbonated water in actual cranberry juice, I think. So anyway, um, I got a place of a hat now, and um, dishes are done in the dishwasher. Um, there's just a few I put away the dish, and you know what else I'm thinking? I'm going to put the, the decorations away in mass, except for some things outside the day after Christmas, and usually I'm the type that does it on January 1st. When do you put your decorations away? Isn't it terrible to talk about that? It's not even Christmas. I told you I'm over it. One more thing. Next year, I'm going to do that thing that I've been seeing everybody do. They take a big fat red ribbon and they tie it around the length of their um, cabinet, and then they put Christmas cards with little clothespins on the uh, ribbon to hang 
Christmas cards. Did I say clothespins? I meant to say clothespins. I think that would be pretty. You know what these are up here? These are Christmas dishes, really fancy ones that I can't reach. <laughs> when we moved in, they were like, where are we going to put these? I said, stick them up there. <laughs> that thing up there, that dusty thing, is a, um, a crock that you can make sauerkraut and stuff like that in. I want to do that before too long you know, to heal the sugar that has come to rest in my gut. Well, I finally decided to open up my amaryllis and poor thing is trying to grow out of the box. I'm a bad mother. I better get this planted today at least. At least. So per directions, it says to take this thing, drop this thing in it, add one quarter, no, one and a half cups of water. And I, um, we're on a well and it's screaming cold here right now for our pipes. So this water's coming out close to freezing. So I made the water come out, um, you know, not hot, not cold, not warm, just kind of room temperature. Cause I don't want to shock this thing. Anyway, then I'm supposed to let it set for an hour. So I'll drop you in here. And I think I'm going to put this in a plate because there's you know, straight up holes in here. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to get started on that. The water's in. I, I don't know if this will work or not, but the water's in. And um, we'll see how that goes. It used to be you just had dirt. I'm not sure I like these whole pod things, but we'll see if it works. Well, it's working. It's just actually working. I'm surprised. I can see the um, the dirt starting to pull away from, you know, the actual pod. I think that's some kind of a root or something that came with the pod. I'm not even going to say it's a parasite of any kind. Don't go there, Kendra. No, that's a root. So it's getting soft. That's interesting. It's so funny. You can't really tell from the picture, but this thing is grown like three times the size it was and I feel like when I stare at it I can see it grow but you can't see it on camera okay it's planted and um, it's said to leave some of that bulb you know exposed and so I did I mean if it'll grow in the box I'm sure it'll grow fine in this thing uh, I've got it kind of toward the kitchen so that any light will train it to stand up straight maybe at the back of it and it says not to really water it, but just to keep it a little moist. And let's see, I'll show you how it grows. Well, I'm gonna wrap this up now. Um, I'm, I'm not making a very good vlog today. I think I'm starting to feel a little bit of pressure <laughs> and burnout, um, as I said earlier. But anyway, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and do some desserts and I'm not gonna film it. I just, I need some time. <laughs> I, I failed at my vlogmas today, but maybe it'd be better tomorrow. <clears throat> I'm not choking up. I'm actually choking. <clears throat> Sorry. Anyway, um, I wanted to share that I have a sister-in-law. I have a lot of family in Fort Payne, Alabama, and my sister-in-law just texted me and told me that the um, electric company or power company or whatever they have there uh, texted everyone or robocalled or something and told them that they're going to start uh, rolling blackout, not blackouts, rolling. <clears throat> well, is it a blackout? It's where they take power and they take it from some people and they wait a while and then they take it from the next block of people and they wait a while because so much power is being used right now because it's so cold. I imagine people have turned off their Christmas lights, I hope, at least. Um, so that people can get heat. And for those who are cooking with electricity, oh my word. And you know, um, I hope that everyone has some sort of alternate alternate power, alternative power. Um, and if not, hats, gloves, blankets. Um, put a blanket across the door of one room and stay in one room. Um, I've even heard where some people put up a tent in their house. Um, because it's warmer in the tent in the house with the body heat. So, you know, I mean, especially for kids. Kids are going to dig that. So think about what you can do if this is you to stay warm. And check, if you can, check on your family members who are very elderly or very young or, um, 
you know, maybe without resources at all. I always try to grab my daughter and her kids because they live local when something like this comes up. But she's always, oh, we're okay. And I know she is, but I want her with me. <laughs> we don't have rolling blockouts yet, but I suppose it could happen. Okay, so that's it for today. If you've seen anything you like, I hope that you will consider subscribing and comment. Let me know how you're doing in your neck of the woods. Is it freezing cold? Is it stormy? Our, our Seattle airport is just mayhem right now. Oh, what a mess. <laughs> we'll remember this Christmas, won't we? Two more days. Bye-bye, everybody.